They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Hi and welcome to BIMTech Solutions. This video we're going to look at exporting our Revit model to Navisworks for clash detection, timeliners, internal checks, etc. To do this we're going to go to File, Export, our DWF, DWFX option. The 3D view is what we want to export and we'll go to Next. We'll make sure we're using the DWF files option and we'll call it whatever we want. Now this can take a couple of minutes, so we can go ahead and open our Navisworks Manage. When we're working on larger projects, we could have 8 to 10 linked files. Using the DWF option, it brings our all our linked files as well as our own model is straight into Navisworks. The other option is to export an NWC from, directly from each model and append them in Navisworks. This can take a lot of time, and when you're working on larger projects where you have all our mo the models hosted on a CDE, they could be updated twice, three times a week, and you have to export each time. Doing it this way, it's one export whenever the link files are re reloaded into our Revit model. So now we can see that's finished there. So we'll go back into our Navisworks. We'll go File, Open. We'll click our All Files option. We'll look for where we saved our DWF. So that's where we have it there. And we wait for that to load. Now we're waiting for that to load. We're going to go back into our Revit. This just takes a second. You can see now we have all our models in Navisworks. If we go up here to Home, Selection Tree, you can see it brought all our linked files with it. So now we want to go back and make some changes in our Revit model. So we'll just delete all these trees out for now. And we'll go to File, Export. We'll do our DWF again. Now, for this to work, we need to use the same file name each time. So it's automatically selected our file name here. Everything's okay, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And we want to replace the file we exported a minute ago. So now we'll go back into our Navisworks. You'll see. We have our model there with all the trees for now. And everything looks the same. So you can see that's still export. This is a very handy option when you want to keep all your saved views, your clash tests, all of that. You want to keep it all together. So we'll just wait for that to export. Now we'll see it's finished there now, so we we'll go back in here into Navis, and all we have to do is click Refresh. Well, that can take a bit of time to refresh again. And you can see all the trees have disappeared. It's a very handy option. It keeps everything you're working on in Revit and Navis works linked together. So any views, comments, anything you have within Navis is always on this file. And any changes we make in the model can be brought directly in here by just hitting refresh.
Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions or you need help with anything. They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here.